Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for me, Beast of My Name. And today in that video, as you already saw in the thumbnail or title, I'm going to talk about something which just came out basically. Uh, someone from uh, Reddit have found that out and have posted it there. And uh, when it got shared in our Alliance Discord. So yeah, it is basically that the season talent in season T1, right? The uh, Where the archers have the range buff and getting the same range like matures is technically a buff which can get removed by different ways and it is not a bait it is not clickbait or something people have tested it out already and uh they sh shared it to you basically it is insane because i thought it is just overall you know a thing from the season that archers having this range buff and that it's just gonna stay like this but that's crazy. And today I'm also not alone here. I have Spring it with me and uh, we're going to ask him then basically what he thinks about that. Uh, if that's going to change anything for the future servers when they're going to jump into ST1. And if that basically makes the archers useless in season T1. So... Alright guys, so... As you can see here on the picture, um, we have here at the top uh, the explanation of the uh, uh, season talent. Um, the marksman units have an attack range equal to a magic unit while in the field, but they ha also have 15% less physical attack. From this text, you would not consider it as a buff, you would consider it as a mechanic from the season, right? And I think that's also how the people have uh, basically saw it over, t over time. That's how I saw it. You know, I thought it was basically a mechanic of the season. Nice archers having the same way as mages. Gonna uh, give them some opportunity uh, to uh, get even more merits, what we already do. And under that, you can basically see a screenshot out of a battle report where you can see that Valence, Talent, Autumn Wanes, which you can see here on the bottom, was triggered. Sinvius Marksman Unit attack range bonus effect was dispelled. And uh, as you can see here, Autumn Wanes is basically doing, when casting Rage Skills, a buff effect is dispelled from the target lesion. This effect can only be uh, triggered once every 20 seconds. So how it basically works is when you hitting an archer who having that season talent, and this Autumn Wings, for example, getting triggered, the buff or the mechanic, however you want to call it, is getting removed. And it's going to stay removed until you have returned to your city. And then it's basically, you need to refresh your march in order to get this buff back again. Which is kind of insane because you think about we have the stamina system, right? So... Imagine you're getting hit by it and you need to refresh it because it's basically getting useless because once you're stepping one minute uh, one sec forward you're getting insta killed right because everyone is ranged so basically it makes your in my opinion your archer march useless when you're getting this you're just gonna be basically meat on the field but autumn wanes is not the only one um you have also a warpad skill Gentle Breeze, where you also have a chance to dispel a buff, as you can see here. Can be triggered once every 10 seconds, which is basically even better than Autumn Rain. So I would maybe consider to have, uh, for example, uh, what you can do is getting uh, Lilia Taya with a Warpad with a red skill on it. And then having, for example, a Velen Vordium as a second Mage Mart with this talent tree on top there and then we're having also an artifact with the dagger of betrayal but i mean no one is really using it so um i would consider one of these two ways and yeah it is it is actually insane you know it's it's legit insane in my opinion that this is a removable so let's ask swingers what you think about uh swingers what is your opinion to this new, um, yeah, how do we want to call it? A debuff for the archers in CNT1? Well, 
I kind of like it, honestly. And when I think about it, I, I do like it. It's something that nobody really kind of looked into because nobody thought, hey, this is a buff, not actually just something that you get. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it makes more builds viable, which is always something that you want games to have, to have mm -hmm. a m multiple things to be able to use. Mm -hmm. So... Even you don't have to use this just on Velen. You can use it on Alwyn. You can use it on Kanara. You can use your own archer range to cancel other archer range, which makes that super interesting. But yeah, it, it's it's interesting. It's it's annoying, but the thing is, there's also other ways to kind of. It, it says a buff effect. It doesn't say every buff effect. So if you have other buffs, there's more chances that you your range is not going to be canceled. That's true, that's true. That's we need to say. If you're having multiple buffs, uh, and I mean, most of the times you have always multiple buffs on your march, like attack buff from Taya, for example, if you're using, uh, you know, Nico Taya, for example, um, or I don't know, uh, skill damage buff, you know, any buff, right? And it's just saying that one of these buffs can dispel. So there is a possibility that your archer uh, range bonus getting removed here. But um, what do you, what do you say that have like any hard impact on the future season T one? I mean, right now we are with our mains in uh, basically the one of the first season T ones, and uh, it just came out. So for all these other servers who might watching this video now, what would you say does that have a heavy impact from the beginning already in the season? Or would you say people still should use that and just like go with the luck and um, hopefully not that this getting removed? I think if you're still like a medium or like a heavy archer main, you should definitely still get long range. Long range is so good. It's just too good to not have as an archer. If you're not using archers, then yeah, don't get long range. But yeah, I mean. We we will be fighting still, so we will be able to see if it does have a major effect on the field. But yeah, I mean, what you're pretty much just killing that march. You either force them to refresh, or they have to step up and just get melted. Yeah, exactly. So, if you lose stamina or you are losing tools, like what do you consider? I mean, for ways they're probably just stepping up and kill their march and getting some uh, counter attack damage. Um, but for all these uh, lower players, um, especially for who's who have missed out season one plus, which was an entire free month basically of uh, playing the game, um, and having less troops or overall less power, this might be in, uh, having an impact. I mean, I mean, if we think about what do we are right now on our um, on our second account in season two, and almost at the end of season two already. And many from us, they have not enough tubes, right? So, um, and then if that would happen to the Archer March and you need to refresh multiple times, you're gonna, I mean, sure, we're having overall more stamina and also uh, a better stamina recovery. Right. But I don't know, man. It feels like for all these newer uh, servers, which are gonna getting their season one, uh, season T1 as their fourth season. Many of them might gonna have a problem with that if they're choosing this. I don't know. I guess it's uh it's more deeper for the newer servers which having overall less uh troops and stuff like that. But I find it definitely interesting. Like uh, it gives the uh, archer some more impact again in scene T one. I think it gives like T four is also something that they could run instead to help True. the team out even more. True. Yeah. Especially in season T1, right? With all these archers uh, having the same range, like it's hard for, especially for T4s, uh, to fight against all these T5 players. For example, on our mains, right? Like, how do we want to fight as a T4 if you can get hit by five archer marches and you just die in like one second, right? Even if you're just like making not even a mistake. Uh, but I've and exactly this point, right? Like uh, where that archers are so strong in season T one with that range march, uh, range buff, um, and basically getting to a range march which having the same range as mages, and then you're having this debuff, uh, 
I think it makes the mages again more uh, available and uh, again a better option for more players to use, especially in season D1, I think. So, yeah, gonna be interesting. I mean, it just came out, so we need to have a look on it and uh, I would test it also by myself in the next fightings. I will also stream the next days the fighting when something's happening on ERS uh, versus TFS. And basically gonna test that out. I'm gonna test that out by myself. I'm gonna uh, test with, with a Wellen and see uh, in the reports if it's working. And I mean, we can also have a look on the battlefield if you can kind of spot an archer players stepping forward randomly without attacking. And I mean, you also need to consider if that AFK walking or is that now the actual, um, you know, debuff. So we need to see. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this, if that have any big impact, if you think, nah, whatever, you're having hundreds of marches anywhere on the uh, battlefield, you're having uh, multiple buffs on your uh, archer marches, so uh, I just still gonna run it. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Otherwise, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, thanks to you, Springit, for joining this video and giving us your opinion about this. And uh, yeah. With that said, guys, I wish you a great rest of the day. Have a great start into the next day. Stay healthy, everyone, and we're going to see us soon on the next one.